Hey, what's up? I have another little marketing tip, tactic, trick, hack type thing for you that I really think you're going to dig. Uh, this one revolves around YouTube and actually finding out what keywords people are using on their YouTube videos. Now, back in the day, YouTube used to actually show you what keywords people, you know, put in for their you know, their YouTube keywords. They don't anymore. You can't actually see the YouTube keywords anymore. And there's some Chrome plugins and some various scripts that you can install to find them. But I mean, there's a, a pretty easy way without adding any sort of extra Chrome extensions or anything that I've found that works really well. So let's say um, I want to put up a video on YouTube that's a review of uh, click funnels. All right. Well, what I want to do to make sure that's going to get in front of the most people is I want to figure out what keywords to target on YouTube. So what I would do is I do a search on YouTube for click funnels. And then I want to see which video kind of has the most views. This one has 8,000. This one has over 17,000. So let's go up here to filters and sort by view count. All right. So now we've got this video here that says click funnels review, make websites in less than 10 minutes. This video has got over 84,000 views. So this video has a lot of people finding it. So I wanna use similar keywords to what this person is using for their video. So let's go ahead and click into the video. Now it's real simple, all right? I'm going to right click on this page, click on view page source. I'm in Chrome by the way, so uh, this is how you would do it in Google Chrome browser. I'll click on view page source. So this is the view, the, the page source of this YouTube page, just a lot of gibberish. Um, now here's what I'll do. I'm going to hit Command F, that brings up this little search box up here at the top. Now if I type in keywords, literally the word keywords, you'll find this thing here that says meta name keywords, and then a whole bunch of keywords. And you can see exactly where it cuts off so uh, there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and you know half of another keyword that's getting cut off here. But it's basically uh, getting juice from about thirteen different keywords. Um, now, if I was to, you could see it found it one of two times. So if I click down, you could see it found all the keywords here. These are all the keywords that it's ranking for. Now, what I can do is where it says keywords, colon, everything after this little quotation mark here, I could copy all the way to the next quotation mark. So right here after Rainmaker, these are all the keywords that this video is trying to rank for. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. So right click, copy, and I'm just gonna open up a notepad or a text edit or whatever, and I'm gonna paste this in. I'm going to get rid of pretty much everything after, or I'm gonna space this out here so everything's on its kind of its own line just so I could kind of get a better view. Some of these keywords, I don't even know what they mean, but uh, these are all the keywords that this video is trying to rank itself for. And now I can use these same keywords on my ClickFunnels review page. Um, and this is our list of keywords now. So they are trying to rank for ClickFunnels review, ClickFunnels, click and funnels, review, RMK777, lead pages, unbounce, instapage, optimize press, Sam Cart, 10 minute funnels, Kajabi, Infusionsoft, InstaBuilder, and Rainmaker. Now when I go and I make a ClickFunnels review and I upload it, I'm gonna grab all of these keywords, copy them, and post them in as the same keywords that I would use because obviously this person is getting quite a bit of traffic. So the keywords they're using are probably helping them get some of that traffic. Now you never truly have the full picture. This person may have ran ads to this. They may have done YouTube ads and run a bunch of advertising to it. Uh, they may have had a big mailing list and mailed their list to it. And you know, that could attribute a lot of these uh, views. But you know, the keywords are helping a little bit and it's always good to know what keywords they're ranking for. If I wanna take it a step further, um, I can do this search again. And let's just go ahead and pick the result that's showing up at the top. This isn't necessarily the one with the most views, but it's the one that's showing up first for the keyword click funnels. So let's go ahead and click into this one. I'm gonna click on view page source, and then I'm gonna hit command F, open up this little search here, and skip down to the keywords that they're ranking for. I'm gonna hit down again, 
and this is gonna show you all of the keywords that they're trying to search for. And I'm gonna copy all of these keywords that you see here in between these two um, quotation marks here. Let's go ahead and copy. Let's open up our notepad again. Let's leave a couple spaces so I know what's what here. Paste those in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and space them out so I can get a better look. Cool, so here's all the keywords that they're trying to rank for, so I can use some of these as well. There's gonna be a couple overlap. Um, you know, the word click funnels is obviously gonna be an overlapped one, but for the most part, they're using two different keywords to go after it. These guys are showing up first in YouTube's results for the keyword, or for the search click funnels. These ones have the most views uh, for the keyword click funnels. So, these are the keywords that they're using between those two videos. Um, and that's some good inspiration, good ideas to use as my own keywords when I upload my YouTube videos about click funnels. All right. Hopefully you found this helpful, uh, informative. I've got more little tips, tricks, hacks, and stuff like that coming along. Um, I like sharing stuff that helps you sort of get inspired by other people's marketing that helps you get kind of a behind the scenes inside look at what other people are doing to uh, get the success that they're getting. And uh, that's what this video was. Another little quick tip so that you can kind of keep your finger on the pulse of what others are doing. All right. Hopefully it was helpful. I'll see you guys in uh, the next video. Later. What's up guys? I hope you enjoyed that quick tip video you just watched. You want more videos like that and cool stuff from me and this weirdo over here. Go to theweeklyprofit.com. It's a weekly newsletter. We only send it out once a week and we give you updates on what's on the blog and the new podcast episodes and we send out more quick tips like that. Yeah. So if you like this kind of stuff, theweeklyprofit.com. We'll send you some cool stuff. He'll send you some stuff too. I've seen cooler stuff. No, my stuff's cooler. Anyway, theweeklyprofit.com. Go check that out. See ya.